Hey everybody, welcome back to the Revelation Bible Study. My name is David Kenny, and I am the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. And this summer in 2020, we decided to go through the entire book of Revelation, but we're going through it in little small bite-sized pieces. And so you're more than welcome to follow along in your own Bible. You can go back and try to catch up with all of our previous lessons, or you can just start right here or bounce around um, we're just glad to have you. Uh, we are in Revelation chapter 3, and we are continuing with Jesus' letter to the church of Sardis. And last time we were together, Jesus had said that this church had a reputation for being alive, but then he tells them, uh, you guys are in fact a dead church. And so, what do you do when you wake up and discover that you're dead? So Jesus gives the church in Sardis some advice in verse 2. He says, Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. So Jesus says, wake up, right? Wake up, face reality, face facts, get with the program, right? Find your strengths, Jesus says, and improve them. And when you look back over these chapters and you see that it's Jesus talking, right? This is not John writing a letter to these churches. Jesus is dictating these letters to John. So it's not the angels, right? It's not, it's not some human author. This is Jesus reporting back on what he sees in these churches. And Jesus says, I know, right? He says, I know. I have not found your deeds complete. So, whose opinion really is the one that matters the most? God's, right? God. God is watching. Revelation says Jesus is the one who holds the stars in his hands. He's the one that holds these churches in his hands. So what if your church has a good reputation on paper? Who cares if you have new paint or new carpet? Jesus is not impressed with how clean your church campus is. He personally sees all of the work, and it's going to be him who gives the final say. And Jesus says to this church in Sardis, you look great on paper, you look great in the community, but you know what? You're dead. You're a dead church. So, is there hope for Sardis? Can this church come back to life? How would a dead church come back to life? How does a dead church, or even a dead Christian for that matter, come back to life? The answer is right here in chapter 3, and it's just a couple of words. You can skip right over it maybe too quickly and and miss it altogether. Jesus says, keep the teaching, right? In verse 3, he says, remember then what you have received and heard. Keep it and repent. So it's not a coincidence when you come across these different verses in the Bible that begin with the words remember, or listen, or take heed, or repent. You, you see those words, and that should make us dial in and, 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 and clue in. This, this is the exact same way a parent talks to their kids, right? It's the same way parents talk to their kids. When I want to correct my child's behavior, I will start with, I've told you this before. Remember? Right? Or, or we'll say, um, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You, you know how to do this. Remember, right? And you, you say that. Jesus knows we haven't forgotten. And, and, and we haven't forgotten his instruction. Perhaps we've only just forgotten how to obey. Jesus says something similar during his ministry on earth in Luke eleven twenty eight. 28. Jesus said, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Does your life change when you hear the words of the Bible? Does the way you live change? When you hear a sermon, does it change your life? Does it change your attitude? Does it make you want to love more or serve more or obey more? It should. Jesus says, keep it and repent. Keep the teaching. Being a church is an action word. It's a verb. And Jesus has just pronounced this church in Sardis as being dead. Why? Because they're asleep. They're phoning it in. They're going through the motions. They don't obey. They don't remember. 
Jesus tells them, remember your lessons, obey them, walk away from your old life, and start growing spiritually. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back next time. Bye.